Pesticide maker Dow Chemical is pushing the Trump administration to scrap the findings of federal scientists who say a family of widely used pesticides is harmful to about 1,800 threatened or endangered species. The industry's request comes after EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt announced last month that he was reversing an Obama-era effort to bar the use of Dow's chlorpyrifos pesticide on food. Peer-reviewed studies suggest even tiny levels of exposure to the chemical could hinder child brain development. Letters sent to Pruitt by attorneys for Dow and two other companies obtained by the Associated Press say the EPA study is fundamentally flawed and should be set aside. The letter comes as federal regulators are close to issuing findings expected to result in new limits to where highly toxic pesticides can be used. Brett Hartle with the Center for Biological Diversity opposes Dow's effort to discredit the study. So industry's main complaint is that the data quality doesn't sort of meet an arbitrary high standard that you only get in the laboratory. You can't just take an endangered fish, an endangered salmon, out of the wild, take it to the lab, and then expose it to enough pesticides until it dies to get that sort of data you need. It's, you know, it's, it's wrong morally, it's illegal. Over the past four years, government scientists have compiled an official record showing the three pesticides in question pose a risk to nearly every endangered species looked at. Endangered species are the canary in the coal mine that tell us that something might be wrong. And you know, many of these live in water, so they um, are an indicator that our water quality is bad. Uh, many of them are sort of early warning signs for bioaccumulation, so we might know if there's a problem for us down the road. Dow's chlorpyrifos pesticide was originally developed as a nerve gas by Nazi Germany. It's been sprayed on fruits and other crops for decades, and as a result, yeah, traces of the chemical have been found in sources of drinking water, and according to one university study, in 87% of umbilical cord blood samples. Should I give this pen to Andrew? Dow Chemicals, <laughs> I, I think maybe, right? When President Donald Trump signed an executive order in February aimed at rolling back government regulations, Dow Chemical CEO Andrew Laveris was by his side. Laveris is a close advisor to Trump, serving as the head of the White House's manufacturing working group. The company also wrote a $1 million check to help underwrite the inaugural festivities. When asked whether Dow's donations were meant to influence policy, Dow's director of public affairs said that any suggestion of that is, quote, completely off the mark. Saying in a statement, Dow actively participates in policymaking and political processes, including political contributions to candidates, parties and causes in compliance with all applicable federal and state laws. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press. Listen to those career staff.